Okay, so this is about uh, drawing box plot. Uh, box plot it is usually used for uh, comparing maybe some one category but different sample cases. So there's no kind of reliability, you know, such as SAT score. You know, the SAT score case um, based on the student population, you, you know, we definitely get some different results. But you know, whenever we just compare and the SAT score, then we we use, just use the box plot and then compare each state or each school's scores like that. Okay, so uh, I will explain more detail maybe in the classroom and then today I just briefly explain how to draw the um, box plot. So first step is you need to um, reorganize this data using ascending order. So as you see, 30 is the minimum, so I'll just write 30 here. So 39 and 47 and 48 and 78 and 89 and 138 and 164 and 215 and 296 like that okay now the second step is you need to find the median of this data so there are a total of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so in this case uh, as I told you you need to find out imaginary median because of th this data doesn't have actual data set I mean actual median so 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 so median will locate here basically so you just find out uh, 78 plus 89 divided by 2 which will be uh, 83.5 okay so the me imaginary median is 83.5 now divide two different data set the first data set and then second data set here so I'm gonna write Q2 which is median equal to 83.5 okay now the second step is you want to find out median for the first step and this uh, third and uh, second step here so median of the first step we just call quartile one so i'm going to indicate as q1 so as you see one two three four five so you see this is the median value so there will be 47 and the second set median will be quartile three so one two three four five so 164 it is the quartile 3 value here. Now the third step is you need to find out um, median, I mean the maximum and minimum here. So as you see here, so maximum is 296 and then minimum is 30 here, which means um, this uh, number line cover between 30 and 296. Okay, so now first step, you actually do the number line. And this number line actually must cover between uh, 30 and 296. So as you see, uh, this one is a little bit tough to draw it. So I'm going to make every 50, then it may be covered. So I'm going to start from 0, 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, and 300 like this okay now uh, you just mark a uh, minimum values with 30 so uh, 30 is more like here so 30 and the maximum 296 296 are almost here so you draw that okay now second step is using q1 and q3 value and draw the box plot so uh, with 47 so 47 i can see is around here so that will be this box and then 164 so 164 is around here so based on this you can actually draw the box plot and indicate the median that which is q2 inside of it so q2 is 83.5 so i can guess it's around here so there will be 83.5 
Okay, the last uh, you connect to tail. Yeah. So there we have box block for this data. Okay.